Hello and welcome to The Humble Seer. So we're going to do an FBI 10 Most Wanted Fugitive on Vitel Homie Innocent. And he's uh, from Haiti. And uh, he's been charged with uh, conspiracy, conspiracy to commit hostage taking. So uh, yeah, hostage taking uh, resulting in death. Um, so yeah, it's said that he is a leader of a gang. And, um, they've taken some, they took hostages and, um, they took a uh, United States citizen in Haiti and they, uh, took the life of the second United citizen, uh, during the kidnapping. So we're going to, uh, just talk a bit about this person and see what the cards want to tell us. I get that. I don't see him in Haiti. Uh, strangely enough, I see him in the United States and I see him blending could even be, uh, Kentucky, but he has crossed the border is what I get. He crossed the border in, in Mexico, crossed into the United States. All right, let's get a card. He's in the United States. I get Kentucky. I get Texas. I get Missouri. Okay. Six of wands. Let's get two more cards. And we have the four of cups. And then we have finally the five of wands. Okay, so I see him in the United States. I see him with a, a it's either a, a white woman or a very light woman um, that he is with, with blonde hair for some reason I get. Now, uh, right now he has the six of wands because he feels, you know, he's blending and he He's really quite surprised by that, his, his blending. Um, but he is feeling uh, the four of cups. You know, he's feeling uh, left out and he's not happy. He's sad. He's not where he wants to be, which is Haiti. And I get that he'll travel to Haiti. But right now he's in this five of wands energy where it's, it, you know, there's too much going on. He has to lay low because, you know, this is, um, fairly new because the alleged, uh, kidnapping of the United States citizens that took place October of 2022. So this is very new. He's very much in this energy. He's very much in this energy, in this energy. And I see that he fights with people in restaurants, which is a strange thing. So if you were to go and visit, uh, I, I still get Kentucky. I get Michigan, Missouri. I get uh, even Florida. But he came through Mexico. And um, he's blending in. And I see that there's like a red, uh, uh, red jacket that he likes to wear a lot. And he's with this lighter woman. I think the woman is a very light complected black woman that he's with. And they have, there's children. But I don't see those children as belonging to him. I don't see that they're his children, but they're around him. And he's near a school. It's strange. So, but, but yeah, he's very uh, lonely, even though he's around people. And I get that he's around a lot of people. And some of the people know that he's a fugitive, that, you know, they know about him. Um, but he argues in restaurants and, and there's a lot of that going on, a lot of arguing in these restaurants in like an inner city type of area. If you were to go to those states that I outlined, people will say, yes, this person came in, they were volatile, but you know, they may say that was two months ago, but it will stand out that arguing with, um, the people that work there and the clients, the customers that come in arguing to the point where he gets thrown out. That's a big clue is what I get. So I'm going to leave it there. This person is um, sad and depressed. They're not in their homeland, but they're going to go back. And I get April of 2025 could be the time to strike. And I get that he would be crossing that border again in April of 2025, that border in Mexico. I don't know where. I just get the word ward.
as it relates to crossing. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by the Humble Seer. As always, you take good care and we'll talk soon. Bye.